and I think we are good. There's our receipt. Oh my God. Well, of all things, I dropped the egg. Sam's Club goes keto. Yep, let's rock. All kinds of awesome stuff at Sam's Club if you're doing keto. Now, I'm gonna show you the clean things to get, not just the regular old like, hey, this will work on keto kind of thing, but the stuff that actually is going to optimize your ketogenic lifestyle, not just sustain it. Okay, we wanna get the best possible results, and that means higher quality food products. And we have to do a little bit of digging, but I think we'll find it here at Sam's Club. So let's rock and roll. So the nice thing is Sam's Club is gonna be way different than what we would find at Costco. Obviously I'm kind of the, I don't know, the guy that does a ton of Costco keto hauls every time they have new keto items come out. But it's been a long time since I've even hopped into a Sam's Club. So it's all gonna be new experiences for me here. We'll try to just grab the things that pop out at us the most that seem like good, viable, clean keto finds. This is kind of cool. Lemon ginger. Organic ginger, organic lemongrass, organic blackberry leaves, organic apple, organic lemon oil. Wow, this is actually really clean. All organic. So this would be a great thing to have at night. The robots. Yeah. Oh, whoa, cool. So this would be a great thing to have at night just to help with digestion or anything like that. I love it. They can actually, yeah. Wow. Sam's Club. No job security here. <laughs> Now people ask about this hint water, water infused with fruit essence. So a lot of times it's just water with natural flavors, yeah, exactly. So if you're hydrating a lot, I don't know if it's something that I would lean into because I wouldn't want to be ingesting a bunch of those natural flavors. And then we have this Karma probiotic water, which is pretty interesting as well. So let's see if I can find the ingredients here. There we go. Okay, so we have purified water, citric acid, cane sugar, which is notorious for not being good in the gut. And then <laughs> it's got all these other things in there, but it's got a little bit of probiotics in there. But to be completely candid with you on this, it seems like the cane sugar is gonna counteract the probiotic effect that you get. So I wouldn't exactly lean into that as a good probiotic choice. I hate to start off negative. Let's try to find some good keto things and just keep this positive from here on out. Only dry roasted almonds. Ooh, that's cool to find. Okay. so. Look at that, two ingredients, almonds and salt. It's exactly what you wanna find. And look at the price on that. Six bucks for a tub of almond butter. When you are looking at almond butter, it is very important that you find dry roasted. So only dry roasted almonds, which means they haven't added other oil to it because sometimes they can sneak that in. So let's say they uh, roast an almond with some kind of vegetable oil and then they make an almond butter out of it. They are not required to disclose that they roasted that almond in a different kind of oil. They can still just call it almonds. So these separately notate that it's only dry roasted almonds. So you wanna pay attention to that. So awesome finds. Good to see that. Good to see an honest company doing that. Ah, here we go. Some rice cauliflower. Microwavable pouches, 11 bucks. Cauliflower, water, and malic acid, which is just something to preserve it. Totally fine. I'm gonna get one that's not smashed up. Six pouches for 10.98. Eh, I think you could probably find a better price than that, but still a great little find that will definitely work on keto, especially when you're on the go. You just need something really simple. So great find there. You know, speaking of like things like this, when you're talking about things that you can just get for on the go or just pantry staples, I do recommend that you check out Thrive Market. I put a link down below. Thrive Market's an online membership-based grocery store, but if you use the link down below, you can save 25% off your first membership and also uh, be able to just get a free gift too. So it's kind of a cool feature. They're a big supporter of this channel, but they allow things to get delivered right to your doorstep. So then you're not having to go to the grocery store, not having to waste your time, and they allow you to sort by different diets. So if you wanted to go in there and say, what keto items do they have? You could select keto on their website and then pick whatever keto items you want. And then a box comes to your doorstep and like, look at the kind of stuff that's in these keto boxes. All these delicious snacks, all these amazing things, super convenient right to my doorstep. So highly recommend you check them out. Special link down below. And again, a big thank you to Thrive Market for making this all possible in terms of content and continued support. Oh, here's something that comes up a lot is buy. Um, straight up buy is totally good to go on keto. Check this out. This is actually a great keto beverage. Um, Filtered water, erythritol, coconut water, potassium citrate, acacia gum, some natural flavors, which again, if you're having it in moderation, green coffee bean extract, tea extract, malic acid, coffee fruit extract. So you get some other things that are also going to be just helpful in terms of a little energy boost. Something you wanna drink all the time? No, 
something you want to have as a nice little treat on keto to kind of like keep you sane? Absolutely. Zucchini and yellow squash spirals. Yeah, two ingredients, zucchini and yellow squash. That is super cool. That's funny because it's from that same company that had the not so clean stuff. <laughs> so this is really cool. I love zucchini and squash just because of, again, the B vitamins that you get out of it. So a nice little energy boost on keto, but also the fiber that you need. Okay, gluten-free pizzas, fajita chicken breast, fake chicken nuggets. Ooh, bison burgers. Nah, ooh, this is cool. Okay, so bison's already gonna be a better quality to begin with just because there's different FDA regulations, but this is already lean bison too. I always try to go for the leaner bison, especially when it's frozen, because a lot of times any frozen meat, frozen beef, frozen bison, a lot of times it's gonna be lower quality cuts. It just tends to be the way it is, but this is super easy. I love this. This is just good old fashioned bison. And when it's leaner, it just allows you to control the fat content that you're getting in a little bit more. This is awesome. No added hormones, no antibiotics and it's lean, 29 grams of protein per burger. This would be a great thing on keto. And then I see something else over there. They've got this Jensen brand, grass-fed and grass-finished. Are these burgers or what is this? Oh, no, it's ground, straight up ground beef. Ooh, in ingredients, just grass-fed beef. So what we have to look for, this is so important, grass-fed and finished. It just goes to show, if it's frozen, who cares? Okay, so 93% lean, ground beef. Okay, grass-fed, grass-finished, that is 93% lean. I don't know if you know how rare that is to find. Usually grass-fed, grass-finished, you're gonna get it higher fat, which is fine because at least you know the fatty acid profile is good within grass-fed, grass-finished, but it makes it really hard if you wanna enjoy other fats on keto. Let's say you wanted to have a burger with some avocado on it. Well, if you had like an 80% fat burger, you're gonna have a lot of fat and calories in it. And then you put an avocado on it, you're having a whole ton of calories. It's nice to get a 93% lean in grass-fed, grass finish. Then it gives me a few more calories uh, allotment that I can put some avocado, some mayonnaise, have a little bit more fun with it. So this is great. And 19.98 for, how many pounds is this? Four pounds? No way. Five bucks a pound, California exorbitant prices for this. This so far is the best find at Sam's Club. Heck yes. All right, some chicken broth. That doesn't look so great there. So it's kind of funny, like not finding as many items as I would find at Costco, but the items I am finding are great, like more wholesome. That's what's kind of interesting. It's look at pure zucchini and yellow squash, pure cauliflower, pure dry roasted almonds, pure lean ground beef. Like that's the nice thing. I am finding, the things I am finding are very, very clean. Okay. Artichoke hearts in water, yes. Okay, the ones at Costco are in canola oil and I always have to give them a bath. Okay, I have to get them in canola oil and then I rinse them out because I don't want that canola oil. I want good, clean fats. I don't want vegetable oils on keto. I want omega-3 profiles that I'm after. So here, artichoke hearts, we're getting that long chain inulin that we're after with the artichoke. One of the best fibers that is out there. Seriously, long chain inulin digests so slow that it really helps out what's called short chain fatty acid production within your gut. This is a great snack if you get hungry. Dip this in a little bit of like Primal Kitchen avocado oil mayonnaise. Oh, it's so good. A little cayenne pepper, a little black pepper. Super, super good. I have just bought a bunch of these from Sprouts, not this brand, so I definitely don't need these right now. But still, that is a tremendous find. Look at that, $6.88, again, California prices, and that is so awesome. Now, I do know Thrive Market has like some little individual versions like that you can take with you in a pack, it's really cool. So again, that link's down below if you wanna check them out. Whoa, this is a cool blend. Heck yeah, that's a cool blend. Flax, chia, and coconut? Whoa, so organic flax seeds, organic chia seeds, and organic coconut. You could make an amazing oatmeal out of this. If you mix this with a little bit of hemp seeds and like a protein powder with some just nut milk and heated it up, the flax and the chia would swell up and it would turn into like an oatmeal. Heck yes. What's the price on this? It's organic too, 10 bucks. That's awesome. Totally getting that. A lot of these, I mean, yes, these sausages, stuff like that would be okay. They're probably gonna have some preservatives in there. So we got to be careful with it. I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about those right now. Again, I'm trying to find just new and exciting things. 
Now this, I'm stoked. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. $6.98 for an 18-pack of Vital Farms Pasture Raised. Hands down the best eggs that are out there, in my opinion. Because you get, here you get organic cage-free. Cage-free doesn't mean anything. Pasture raised means they're actually out on the pasture. Free range just means that they have access to a free range. Pasture raised is what you're after. Vital Farms, when you crack them open, you see the oat yolk is orange, and that's what you want. That means they're getting the vitamins, they're getting that beta carotene from carrots and things like that, diversifying the mineral and vitamin profile. I love that about that, and I'm stoked to see Sam's Club has that. Costco has some options too that are a great price, but it's just nice that they have a name brand here too. Through the seasoning section here, Seasonings on keto, uh, watch out for maltodextrin, watch out for your uh, extra amounts of dextrin, dextrose, things like that. You just gotta be careful with that. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time again. If you want me to do a more detailed Sam's like haul, maybe where I do like a $200 Sam's haul or something like that, just let me know down in the comment section. I kinda wanted to test out, hey, is Sam's Club content well received? Do you like it? Also, I wanted to see what the heck they had and if it would warrant doing a whole haul. Um, Okay, now we're into the fruit section. I have specific videos talking about fruit on keto, so we can not worry about that. Still need to think, think that someone needs to make circus animals and animal crackers in a keto form. I'm telling you, you would sell dozens. They'd probably all be to me. People ask about sunflower seeds all the time. They are keto friendly, not the best oil that you would want, so moderation. More nuts. Peanuts are keto friendly but they are a legume and they are super high in omega-6s, so I would not recommend loading up on those. Uh, pistachios, here we go. You want dry roasted. Let's see, anything else? Dry roasted pistachios, that is it. And $15 for this is a tremendous price, so I'm happy to see that, so that's a good find. I would, that's definitely Thomas approved. The thing that I found with the Wonderland pistachios check it out oh these ones are good it's when you get into the flavors okay so this one's still okay pistachios and sea salt but the salt and pepper ones pistachio salt pepper sugar onion powder garlic powder dextrose yeast extract lemon juice concentrate natural flavors so you start getting into some pretty sketchy stuff there so I would go for the lightly salted instead of that but a pretty good eye for keto stuff so I'm keeping a close look I'm not seeing anything yet wait a minute I see something here what's this there we go the keto probiotic keto variety snack packs. So we've got chocolate, so we've got a blend of chocolate pecans, hazelnuts, roasted coconut, dark chocolate, almonds, pepitas, walnuts, cheese ball, that's kind of cool. Roasted almonds, roasted pepitas, walnuts, dried cheddar cheese, cheese culture, salt, enzymes, annatto, macadamia nuts, roasted hazelnuts, MCT, oh man, and they add some uh, probiotics. This one is roasted almonds, sugar-free chocolate, which is chocolate liqueur, inulin, erythritol, cocoa butter, sunflower lecithin, as an emulsifier, vanilla extract, Roasted hazelnuts, to, this is awesome. This is really cool. Is it processed to some degree? Yeah, a little bit, but wow. I am pretty pumped on that. 13 bucks and we get a total of 18 single serving bags with 170 calories or 160 calories. I would recommend doing this. I know maybe it's not as good for, you know, with all the plastic and stuff, but it is good in the sense that, okay, at least that way, you're only consuming one serving because it's easy to eat a handful of nuts and have it be 500 calories. It really is. The nice thing is, at least shopping here, it's highlighted for me a lot of the stuff that I can substitute out with Thrive Market. But also, usually where there's a Sam's Club, you'll also find a Costco. But it, it seems like, again, the things that I am finding here are very, very keto friendly, um, which is just a huge plus. Okay, I see sugar-free. Okay, Russell Stover sugar-free. I already know the deal here, but I'll explain it to you. This is made with stevia extract. Let's see what else they have in it. Look at all the ingredients. Mm. Chocolate candy, maltitol, <laughs> cocoa butter, chocolate, sodium caseinate, already garbage. Maltitol is going to not make you feel good in the gut. Okay, it is a pure sugar alcohol. So look at that, 14 grams of sugar alcohols there. Okay, maltitol syrup, more maltitol syrup. Peanut butter, hydrogenated cotton seed, and rapeseed oil, soy oil. Oh my gosh, no way. This is one of the worst things I've ever seen. And where's the stevia? Oh my God, it's at the bottom. They put it with stevia because they know that people are onto them. They know that people are figuring out maltitol. This, let's put stevia on the front. It's at the bottom. Russell Stover, I don't understand. I get this day in the game, like are you really that worried about your margins so much that you have to do that? Like, 
you're, especially because Russell Stover markets themselves to people that are like sick and trying to really get off of sugar. I feel like that's messed up. I, I feel like it's pretty low. Like I hope that they can turn it around a little bit. So let's go ahead and let's check out. This is what I got here. Now we have one big problem. I don't have a Sam's Club membership. So how are, are they, I don't know if they're gonna let me check out. I guess I can go over to member services. I don't know, let's see us over here first. Okay, so what I'm gonna do since I don't have a membership, I'm gonna ask someone if they can use their Sam's Club card so I can buy this because they were gonna make me put everything back in order to go get a membership. I can go put stuff back, but I wanna like, so I'm gonna go to one of these self checkout and see if someone can slide, if, if they'll scan their card for me. See if they'll help me out. Hey ma'am, is there any way you could scan your Sam's card? Mine expired and they're gonna make me wait in line forever. <laughs> oh, okay. Is that cool? That's okay. Okay, thank you so much. You're People are super cool. That was nice. If you're just polite, because I didn't know that was gonna be, they have one person working because of you know what, everything is going on, the C word, can't say it because I'll get in trouble on YouTube. Anyway, it was gonna be probably 40 minutes sitting there. So, um, anyway, there's some cool stuff. I did not wanna to have to put this stuff back. You're probably wondering, why did you go and get all this stuff if you didn't have a Sam's Club membership? Because I wanted to do the video and then the stuff that I did find was so dang good, <laughs> I didn't wanna to have to put it back. I didn't walk in here with the intent of putting it back. I walked in here with the intent of, hang on, I gotta concentrate. I walked in here with the intent of like there not being a line that was an hour long to get a membership. Um, anyhow, here we are. I really am happy with the stuff I found. So next time I will have a membership and I will actually do a full on haul. And I think we are good. So our receipt. Oh my God. Well, of all things, I dropped the eggs. That was awesome. I actually, I'm super stoked on what I found. I'm not super stoked that I wasted 18 eggs. I'm not super stoked that I uh, was embarrassed, but you know, I guess life happens. So if you want me to do more Sam's Club videos, I'm happy to. It's not often that I get around to a Sam's Club because there's not near one near where I live, but it happens to be one nearby today. So as always, keep it locked in here on my channel. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't break the eggs.